All right, y'all, we have two pie crusts. We making a delicious, easy dessert. And this is what we gonna do, y'all. Me and Bridgie were just talking about this. We gonna see how this turns out, cause I don't know. Okay, all right, y'all, you know what? This ain't gonna be too hard. We gonna push this. I have a, uh, is this a quarter sheet pan, Fred? Do you know? I don't even know, anyways. It's a, it's a, some, I think it's a quarter sheet pan. So we have two pie crusts and we put these at the bottom of our greased quarter sheet pan. Now, y'all, what we gonna do is flatten it out and make it a rectangle, okay? So, you know what? I thought this was gonna be more difficult than it is, but actually, I should just, I should just wait until I actually have it done because, okay, this is what we gonna do, y'all. So now we're gonna take these pieces. Anyways, y'all, y'all don't have to keep watching me do this, but two pot crusts, we're just gonna put them at the bottom of this uh, greased uh, uh, quarter sheet pan, and then we're gonna cook it according to the directions on the package. Y'all, I forgot to tell y'all, you gotta poke some holes with your fork before you cook it, that's it. All right, y'all, so I have another pie crust. I have a little bit of flour. Actually, I kind of put a lot on my counter, but we're gonna put this pie crust down and we're gonna roll it out a little bit, all right? So this is part of the same dessert. Um, this is gonna be so much fun. This is so fun. I'm using my PVC, PVC pop rolling pin that Fred used in pastry school. He went to fancy pastry school, y'all, and this is what they use there. So use. Do what makes you happy, that's it. That's all I gotta say about that. But okay, we just rolling this out a little bit so it's a little more thin. And that's great, that's good enough, y'all. Look what I have, I have some star cookie cutters, all right? So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm, we're gonna do this. this. I feel like this is gonna look cute right now, Bridgie. Let's see, we're gonna, we're gonna do some different size stars. Actually, gosh, I, I obviously, y'all, I haven't done this in a while because look at, um, I feel like the red one might be too big, but we're gonna do one red one. All right, so we're gonna get some stars. Y'all, I haven't used cookie cutters in so long. I'm like, how do you do this? All right. So we're gonna get some stars, all different shapes, and we're gonna put them on um, a, whatever, a bacon, whatever kind of bacon sheet you want. I'm using this round one. Uh, these are not cutting that well, but that's okay. All right, so this is what we're gonna do, y'all. We're making all different size stars. All right, y'all, so after you have all your stars cut out, y'all can see I used um, all, uh, the different sizes. Um, we're gonna brush these with a little water, just a little bit, okay? Now, y'all, we have a little bit of sugar, a little bit of white sugar, so we're just gonna put a little bit on top of all these, all right? So again, um, the pot crusts have to cook at 450. Um, these are gonna go in for like six to seven minutes, and I can't wait to show y'all the rest of this dessert. All right, y'all, so we adding two eight ounce bricks of cream cheese to a bowl, all right? Two bricks of cream cheese. We also have uh, two containers of this lemon burst Yo Play yogurt, all right? Two containers. Right on in. I actually just tried it. I licked the, you know, do y'all ever do that when you eat yogurt? Like peel the top off and then lick it? I just did that, just so y'all know. Also my, it, it, it's actually real good. Mm. Do you eat yogurt pretty? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, it's, I, I, I like it. I don't eat it a lot, but I do like it. I don't know why, I don't know why I don't eat it a lot. Anyways, but I like it. I like it. All right, two containers of yogurt, lamb and yogurt. Y'all are gonna love this dessert so much. I'm actually excited because it looks so cute that me and Bridgie were just talking about that. It's gonna be cute and, and yummy all at once. Okay, now y'all, we add uh, the juice from a whole lemon. These are some giant lemons. All right, or uh, half might be good because this, this is a very large lemon. So I think that's good. And then we also gonna add, um, oh my goodness, we gonna make a mess. That's what we gonna do, messy, messy. Three tablespoons of sugar, one, two, three. Okay, and then we also gonna add some lemon zest. This is my favorite thing to do, this is so fun. I mean, it's not my favorite thing to do. My favorite thing to do is to pet cats, but you know what y'all, that just made me think of something. I need a hobby, I don't have a hobby. You know what I do? I make videos and uh, I pet my cats. I guess having cats is my hobby, but Bridgie, do you have a hobby? really. <laughs> I feel like I need one, y'all. Like, you know, remember when you're like kids and you do stuff like social stuff? Like, I, I don't know. I just, I, I just, I'm like a homebody, but I feel like I need a hobby. I don't know what, should I like, what should I do, y'all? Pottery? Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to think. If y'all, if y'all have a good hobby idea for me, let me know. Um, that's it. All right. <laughs> now we're going to give this a mix, y'all. All right, y'all. And that's nice and mixed. We're going to take over our, uh, our pie crust that we cooked in the sheet pan that's cool, make sure you cool that, and we're gonna put this right on top, all right? So far, this dessert looks boring, I know, but y'all just, I, I'm so excited for y'all to see the way this looks. Y'all have no idea, but maybe you do, because I just told y'all. Anyways, I'm excited, and that's it. I love summer, and I already told you that. I feel like I just keep saying the same thing over and over again today, but you know what, y'all, maybe I always do that. I wanna taste this. Bridgie, that's good. Bridgie? Smells good. Mm. 
You know what, y'all? Bridgie loves cream cheese as much as I do. We always talk about it. Mm, this is good, Bridgie. <laughs> wow. All right. So we're going to spread this out uh, as best we can. Y'all know. Y'all know how it, how, it, how it happens, okay? In hindsight, next time with the two pie crusts, I think I'm going to like roll them together so they actually one piece because y'all can see they separated. But okay. So we're going to spread this out nice and even ish nice and even ish on top of our sheet pan pie crust and then we're gonna put this in the fridge for about 30 minutes and while that's in the fridge i'm going to show y'all uh the next step all right y'all uh strawberries so i have about um a cup and a half or so of four different berries so about six cups of fruit all right strawberries blueberries raspberries and very large, plump and juicy blackberries. Y'all, these are so good. I know Bridgie doesn't like them though, but that's okay. <laughs> All in our bowl. All right, so now to this, y'all, we're gonna add, um, I, I got this strawberry topping. It's like a strawberry glaze. This is uh, 11 ounces, so we're gonna, we're gonna add about a cup or so, so not this whole thing. Um, if y'all wanna make your own strawberry glaze, you can do that too, but guess what? I didn't, okay? But you can if you want. I don't think it's that hard. I feel like that's another thing like, that like Fred knows how to do real well. Um, but it's it's not that hard. All right. I think yeah, it's like jam. I've made jam before anyways blah 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 Okay Y'all so this is gonna be the last step kind of in our beautiful fun like pie dessert that we have chilling in the fridge right now So I'm just gonna give this a mix and we don't let this marinate for a little bit while our uh, Our cream cheese and yogurt mixture is cooling on top of our pie crust and then we're gonna compose this amazing dessert Y'all are gonna love this all right, y'all, so this has been sitting in the fridge for a little more than 30 minutes, all right? So now remember that fruit mixture we made with the strawberry glaze? It was fresh berries. So now, y'all, the next step here, uh, we're going to take this mixture and we're going to put it on top of our, uh, our uh, cream cheese yogurt stuff on top of this pie pan thing, okay? So um, I feel like I could use more fruit, but that's okay. Yep, we could use more. I have more. Let's see. I do have more. I might get more fruit, y'all, because I feel like I feel like we need more fruit. That's it. So I'm gonna get more fruit. Um, so I would say use like eight cups of fruit or so. I don't know. How, use whatever you want, y'all. Do what makes me happy. How about that? Okay. That's it. I would have put more strawberries, but I had to cut them. And I didn't feel like it. So this is this is this looks great right now. Okay. So now, y'all, what we gonna do? Remember these little stars we made? This is my favorite part, y'all. This is gonna make it so cute. So this is for uh, this is a great dessert for um, Fourth of July or uh, Memorial Day, or any time really. But you, and y'all can use different shapes if you want to, but I, Bridgie, I, this is making me so happy. This is so cute, isn't it? It's so cute. I'm like, I'm just real excited, y'all. All right, mm -hmm. so you can use as many or as few stars as you'd like. I have these little ones. Um, I kind of like the different shapes and sizes. I'll, I'll show y'all where I got those cookie cutters. I think I, I got them at Walmart, actually. Um, yeah, so let's see, let's see. I feel like, I feel like that looks good. Uh, we have some more stars left over, so if y'all want to put the rest on, you can. You can also just leave it, honestly, whatever makes you happy, as usual. All right, y'all? So this is it. This is uh, this is my 4th of July dessert. I'm so excited. I feel like this looks so cute. This is making me very happy. And I don't even want to root. I don't even want to try it, because then I'm going to ruin it. But I know Bridgie got some good angles of it, so I'm going to try it, because I have to. All right, y'all. Here, You know what? I'm just going to take a piece from over here, because then um, I can keep looking at it. Y'all, sometimes when I make this stuff... And it looks so cute. I just like keep it for a while before I eat it or give it away because I'm so proud of myself. Anyways, um, I love all the fruits, but we'll just put whatever's on here right now. That's what we're going to eat. So time to try it, y'all. It's going to be good. Y'all. I'm so happy I could cry. I could cry. This is so beautiful and it tastes so good. It's a perfect, easy dessert for the summer. Enjoy, y'all.